The French 20th century artist Henri Matisse wasn't just a painter and sculptor, he was also an innovator. He emerged as a post-impressionist at the end of the 19th century and soon led a new French movement, Fauvism. He rejected Cubism and embraced color. But what inspired him in his departures from European traditions? Well, a gallery in London has the answer. Bell Lepton went to find out. See the similarities? Objects have often inspired artists. Everyday items immortalised on canvas. But it's not often these source materials can command an exhibition in their own right. Unless, of course, the objects tell us something about the artist. And the artist is someone like Henri Matisse. Here at the Royal Academy, I'm standing in the first exhibition to bring together Matisse's treasured objects and the artwork they inspired. It's an eclectic collection, and the idea is to show the working processes by which something like this became something like this. So take something like this. Uh, Ellen, what's the journey that goes from a mask like this to a portrait like this one up on the wall. Well, Matisse, when he was collecting African masks, like this Pende mask um, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, was very interested in how an African mask maker would simplify the face. And so in this portrait of his uh, student, a woman by the name of Olga Mearson, you can see that um, powerful simplification in her face. He doesn't borrow specific motifs, but he borrows the idea of masking as a way to make the person more powerful. And Matisse didn't just use these objects once in his career. He would often come back to them several times, wouldn't he? Yes, he did. He would learn from them again and again. And in this group um, of portrait heads, you see him, uh, again, drawing from the lessons of African art, of simplifying, of trying to convey what is essential about a sitter. So but that by the time we get to the late, the last work in the group, um, the model, uh, Jeanette Vaderlin, has taken on a very powerful, almost hieratic quality. The exhibition shows how African sculpture inspired Matisse to radical innovations in portraying the human figure. And how, later, he adorned his studio in Nice with props from the Islamic world, at the same moment as he became fascinated by pattern and design, all part of his continuing search for an alternative to the Western tradition of imitation. The search brought him, at the end of his career, to Chinese calligraphy and African Cuba textiles, inspiration for his famous cutouts. For the most part, the objects on display here aren't the finest in their respective traditions. They wouldn't have had much pecuniary value, but Matisse saw something in them, and that gives us a valuable insight into the mind of one of the greatest colorists of the 20th century. Bell Lupton, TRT World, London.